What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you work in tech, you've probably seen lately in the media that there's been a lot of talk about layoffs in tech. The latest news that I've seen is that there's been at least 55 companies that have had potential layoffs. And I'm talking about companies as large as Facebook that are doing hiring freezes in some areas, all the way down to mid-sized companies like Carvana that are laying off at least 2,500 employees. For obvious reasons, this causes a lot of fear and uncertainty among those working in the tech industry. And that's why today I wanna to talk to you about what I believe to be the most important skill that you can focus on right now to ensure that you are always job ready in the market for the months and years to come. Now, while I absolutely believe that there is definitely importance in still focusing on the skills needed to do your day-to-day -day job, whether that be JavaScript, React, whatever language you're using, whatever frameworks you're using, absolutely still continue to learn and focus on your day job. However, there is one particular skill that you will not use at your day job. Yet, this is one of the most important skills to ensuring that you can land a job because as we've seen with the tech layoffs, there's a lot of uncertainty in the industry right now, especially in the next year or so. There's lots of rumors about possible recession in the economy and nobody really knows what could happen. So it's always best to be prepared. What is the skill you might ask? Leak code. Leak code is already one of the most valuable skills that you can have as a developer. There is no faster way to increase your compensation than to get very, very good at leak code, data structures, and algorithms. These three things are the key to getting into some of the top tech companies in the country. And while most of these skills you may never use at your day job, or at least incredibly rarely at a minimum, being very good at solving toy problems may not necessarily help you all that much in your day-to-day -day work. It absolutely can and will help you pass interviews. So in the unfortunate event that you do lose your job, you can already be prepared to interview other companies immediately. Instead of waiting until the unfortunate or unknown happens, and then starting to prepare. And for the majority of people, you don't have to get super crazy with this unless you are trying to, to aim for those top tier companies like Google and Facebook. But for the most part, most people really just should focus on doing easy and maybe some medium problems. Personally, I'm not even looking for work right now. I'm happy with the company that I work at and I plan to stay here for a while. And even still, I do a handful of Leetco problems every week, sometimes more than others, but I will always be interview ready by doing this in the case that you know anything unfortunate happens with my position. I don't really suspect that that's going to happen as far as I know my company is in a very well-off place fortunately worst case scenario I'm ready to interview at any point in time because I dedicate some time out of my day to learn this skill like I said it doesn't take much just do a couple problems a week do yourself a favor in the long run and stay prepared no matter what happens. I'm curious what you think about what's happening in the tech industry right now with the layoffs. Do you think that the layoffs are temporary or do you think that they're going to escalate from here? Let me know in the comments down below. That's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching, happy coding, and I'll see you guys next time.